Hey everyone, we're back with the what's sold on eBay for Monday, like 14, 15 sales going out. Nothing crazy, but a couple of good ones and then a kind of your run of the mill stuff. Hopefully some stuff that you might be able to incorporate into your business, but let's go ahead and get into what's sold. So starting off, one of the cooler ones, a Department 56, hope you can see it there. It's like a little snow village, but it's a Halloween one. Um, I'll pop it up on the screen over here somewhere. Uh, that one sold for like 45 bucks. Uh, today was running a little slow at first for sales, so what I ended up doing was... I ended up um, sending out a 5% offer to all my watchers, items that had watchers. So I had like 300 items with watchers. I went ahead and sent out the 5% um, sale or offer to them, and I sold like four or five things. That's one of the ones that sold for like 45 shipped. Halloween stuff, Department 56, Lemax or Lemex, L-E-M-A-X, that kind of stuff. A lot of the buildings and stuff can be valuable. So 45 bucks, pretty good deal. Uh, another one of the better items, these are a pair of Air Max uh, Nikes. So they're a size like 14 or 13, something like that. So a pretty decent size. I mean, a pretty big size. They sold for 60 bucks on a best offer. I had paid 10 bucks for them at a garage sale. I uh, had them listed for maybe a month or two. Someone offered like 40, and we ended up meeting at 60. I think I had them listed at 75 or something, and they still came through and put a pretty good offer. So great deal there. Couple of Alba Botanica. These are those deodorants I've been selling. My multi quantity item. They sold for 22 shipped. You'll see the screenshot. I'm down to I think four or five more sets, and I'm gonna go back to the thrift store or to the discount store this weekend and see if they have any more. Uh, Windows Microsoft XP. Old software sells. You got to make sure it has the CD key, which you don't want to put a picture of that really in your listing, but make sure that it's there. Um, some of them are like the retail version, so there's no issue with downloading it. Other ones, sometimes there's a certain limit of users, so you have to kind of verify that. But this one ended up selling for like 27 28 shift. It's one of those ones that went out um, with the 5% off sale, so pretty awesome. This is a listing that's kind of embarrassing that I'm going to show you guys because I try to be uh, upfront and honest. These are a pair of American Eagle jeans, uh, women's size 4. I guess they're like stretch is what they're stretch regulars, I guess, are the jeans. You'll see the screenshot, $10 shipped on sale. They had already been lowered. I used to lower my prices periodically, and I just bulk uh, lower the prices. But this one was already lowered years ago, and then finally uh, an offer or, uh, a sale went through of 30% off, so it made it even lower. Someone bought it for 10 bucks. It's going to cost us 8 to ship it. We're not really making anything, so don't be like me. Be better than me. Uh, John Wick. One and two, these are the uh, 4K versions. Got these in a DVD buy for, I think, 20 bucks. A whole bucket of stuff. These two sold for 19 ship. Uh, Asteroids Missile Command. You'll see this little Game Boy game. Sold for six bucks. It was listed for like eight dollars or something like that. And it's been on sale. It sold for six and some change. I don't really try to sell a bunch of stuff around the six dollar mark. Usually my limit is eight dollars if it's going to ship media mail or ship around five ounces or less. If it's going to be more than that, I try to you know, have a higher sale price. A Big Show figure. I had a bunch of these wrestling figures from a storage unit guy by. You can see he's not in perfect shape, but you'll see him on the screen. I don't know what series he is or whatever. I'm not really an expert on the lines of wrestling stuff, but that one ended up selling for $18 shipped. All I do is put a little bubble wrap on it, and then I throw it into a bubble mailer, and it's good to go. A CD and a video game. Here's Naruto. This is disc only. It actually is going to go into a case. I have a bunch of empty cases, so I'll put this in there. I have a little sleeve of a little zipper sleeve with all my disc only. Once they sell, then I put them in a case and ship them out. But this is Naruto for PS3. That one also sold for like six and some change. So it was one that was listed for eight. It finally sold for six. I bought a bunch of like jazz and um, kind of similar genre CDs. This one's a Wayne Shorter introducing Wayne Shorter. It's a CD. Sold for $14.99, which is a pretty good deal for a used CD. You don't really find a lot of them that are that value, but usually they're individually worth three or four bucks. You got a lot of them together to make some money, but every once in a while you find a pretty good one. A golf club, which one of my favorite things to sell. So this is a Slazinger or Slazinger. Uh, it's a, what is it, a sandwich? This one I got for two bucks at a um, garage sale. They had like three or four wedges, oddly enough, and I bought them all. This one sold for like $30. This was one where I sent the 5% off. And they ended up buying it at like just a rate of under 30 bucks. It usually costs around $10 to ship it out. I think we're down to our last two here. This is a, I forgot what the name of it is. Oh, Swan's Down Cake Flower little tin here. Got this for a dollar at a garage. So I knew nothing about it. It's not really something I'm uh, like an expert on or anything. It just looks cool. I'm like, oh, I'll look it up. I typed the name in and it looked like it sold. So I grabbed it for a buck. Ended up selling for like $27, $28 shipped. Uh, it's going to go over a pound, so I'm going to guess somewhere around 10 bucks to ship it out. Maybe a little bit less. I'm in California, so 
my shipping prices are a little bit higher sometimes. Like if you live in the middle of the country, you probably ship for a little cheaper. If I'm I'm in California, so if I sell something on the East Coast, it's at least ten bucks to ship it under two pounds. So that's kind of where I am. Someone asked the other day about my pricing that it was a little high. So um, I do use Pirate Ship, but Pirate Ship seems to be more effective for me if I'm selling a heavy kind of smaller item that's obviously weighs a lot then a pirate ship seems to be beneficial otherwise it seems like fedex and ups sometimes are pretty competitive if it's over a few pounds uh, and then here's the last one batman the killing joke here this is a little got this from the hirsch buy one of those books it sold for 11 dollars shipped going to go out media mail not a whole lot of profit but it was a cool cover for sure and definitely not gonna not list it if it's gonna sell for 11 and it sold in like four days so pretty good deal I think that is everything I have for you. Hopefully some more stuff will come through though. If not, I will see you guys in the next clip for Tuesday. Hopefully you've enjoyed the content. We're going to try to get uh, two to three videos out per week. And also all the sales are recent. So whatever you're seeing, the sales should be from a day or two before that. Usually I'm like way far behind, but I've kind of gotten caught up and we're starting fresh here. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, one more little clip coming in here. This one just saw I was grabbing some boxes. It's actually a pair of military pants. Um, these are the desert camo ones. These ones sold for 28 ship. They're size medium regular. Hopefully you see the screenshot there. Um, when it comes to the camo stuff, it seems like the woodland stuff does the best for me. Pants seem to sell better than say tops, the shirts or whatever. Um, and I will say that bigger sizes, like in most categories seem to sell better. So if you can find large or size large long in the pants, those seem to do a little bit better, sell for more money and quicker. The smaller sizes you get, the uh, seem to be a little bit harder to sell and kind of sit for a while and they go for a less price. So just something to keep in mind if you are going to pick up the military stuff, look for the bigger sizes, preferably pants, and the woodland stuff does the best. But 28 ship for those is pretty good. We'll just go on a padded flat rate. Hey guys, we're back with the sales from Tuesday. I think we have 11 sales today. We did miss one thing from yesterday. It ended up selling and I forgot to show a picture. It is like a little chess piece. Hopefully you'll see it here. But it's actually a decanter. It's the king there's like a dark and a light set. This is the Dark King from that set. It sold for $40 shipped. We bought the whole set. There's like 32 pieces or something of this decanter set. They were all empty but in good shape. We've been selling each piece for around $40 to $50, $55 depending on which one it is. It seems like um, some sell better than others. None of the pawns have sold and obviously we have the most of those. So that one ended up going out for $40. Shipping was like $14, bucks. FedEx. It was a pretty long piece. It's like this big so it was a... Uh, a little, bit, uh, a little bit more expensive to ship, but let's get into what's sold today. So next we have a uh, security blanket here. This one is all bagged up, but you'll see the screenshot up here. The security blankets do pretty well for me, anywhere from pretty much that $15 mark, maybe up to $20, depending on which one. Usually I can get them at a garage sale for $0.50, cents, maybe a dollar, and then I'll go ahead and sell them for about $50. I look for ones that are in good shape, uh, no like stains on or anything like that, and then you know some people come and buy them, they ship out first class. So it might be worth your time. we got a plug and play. These usually do even better, but this is a Namco one. This one sold for $25 ship. I tested it out. Pretty easy. Just plug it in your TV. It's got the, um, what is it, a white and a yellow uh, RCA cable there to put in there. It ended up testing out. Worked pretty pretty well. Played it for a little while. It sold for $23, $25 ship, something like that. Usually those ones, depending on how heavy they are, they may go first class, or they may just bump right over and ship for around 8 or $9. So keep an eye out. Pretty easy to test and some decent money there. Some DVDs here. These are all Blu-rays. They are um, Lego ones. There's like Lego Justice League, Justice League Blizzard League, and Justice League Gotham City Breakout. These came from a big buy I had. I sold a bunch of um, DC animated Blu-rays. I bought like, they were each I think a dollar a piece. They were all used. I sold 30 of them for 130 or 140 bucks. It was a great deal. These were some of the Lego ones I had in there. I ended up listing them. They sold for like 15 something on sale. So pretty good deal. They ship out media mail. Actually, I don't know because they have the Lego figure in there. So technically they might supposed to go first class. They're super light, so they might make it anyways. But um, yeah, either way, I'm okay with that. Happy to get them out. We saw the Simpsons comic uh, Barn Burner. I don't know. I never read it or anything, but this came in a big book buy. Looked it up and ended up selling for around $9 and some change. Um, not too bad, but for a book, you're shipping them out for $2.89. Really easy to ship. Just throw it in a bubble mailer. And I found that media mail items that are shipped like in just a bubble mail, like a single book or a CD, they seem to have a greater success rate for me of making it to the destination. It's the heavier ones that seem like they get lost or get stuck or wind up just an empty box arriving. So, 
So yeah, the, the heavier ones are the ones that get uh, kind of held up every once in a while. So you can still ship them that way. I'm not saying it'll get stuck, but it seems like for me, those are the ones I have more problems with. Here's a little Polaroid here. This is one of the rainbow land cameras. This one is the Polaroid 1000. It sold for $35 ship, something like that on the best offer. Um, I had it listed for like 45. We went back and forth and met at 35. I think it's worth a little bit more than that, but I'm just like, hey, let's get rid of some stuff today and get it out of here. Additionally, we sold some spin magazines. These are from the Rock and Roll Buy. There's like seven of them, six of them here. Um, they ended up taking the best offer of 25 shipped. I think they'll fit in the medium flat rate. We're not going to make a ton, but they're really not worth a whole lot. I don't have enough of them to be a huge collection, and ultimately, I just want to get some stuff out. So, got those. Same with this little Panasonic DVD remote. Not much to say. It sold for five and some change. It's been listed for years, and it finally sold. So, that's one of those ones you definitely want out of here. Uh, Halo 1 and 2 for Xbox, though. They sold for like 20-something shit. They sent one of those 5% off to watch your sales yesterday. They accepted, but they didn't pay till today. So, you'll see on the screen, 20-something shipped on those. I think they may just barely make first class. They're a little bit on the heavy side, but I think they'll make it. Sold a couple of inks. Sold uh, some HP 57 ink. It sold for, I don't know, 10 or something shipped, 11 shipped. And then sold these inks, which are even better. These are the HP 23s, tricolor ink. There's two of them here, brand new sealed. Expired in 2011, it looks like. Got them for a dollar each, and they ended up selling for, I think, 34 ships, something like that. Definitely a great deal for some expired ink. I'm not really worried about ink that's expired and over five years old. Some people kind of put that cut off. I've sold ink that's way beyond expired than that. There is a risk there for sure. Some people might message you and say, hey, ink ended up not working or whatever. You have to deal with the return. But for the most part, people seem to, seems to work because I don't get many returns on it. So I'm pretty blessed and thankful for that. And then we sold one of my favorite type of items to find. This is the Spooky Town by Limax or Limix however you pronounce it it's a small little guy just a little pumpkin patch pumpkins for sale this one sold for like 37 dollars. this came from a big buy of department 56 uh, halloween stuff there was one of these spooky town sets in there this one ended up selling for 37 dollars ship so not bad there it's it might even go first class it's super light look out for spooky town i've sold spooky town sets that are broken and not working i don't have a power cord that you can tell that pieces have been removed They'll still sell for 40, 50 bucks. I sold one for a hundred that I sold as is because of how rare it was. So look out for the spooky town, spooky town stuff. Some of it does really well. And I don't know if there's going to be anything else here. There may be a clip of the house tour. We'll have to see if you see it. Great. If not, it'll probably be the next video that you end up seeing it. So thank you guys and take care. Hey guys, a couple more sales that came through. Definitely one really cool one. So I had to show it. And then another one that's kind of just run of the mill bread and butter stuff. Uh, the bread and butter one is just Northwest uh, Exposures, a geologic study of the Northwest. Got this from a recent book buy. We're in it for 200 bucks. The guy sold at um, uh, Flea Market. My One of my sources bought the storage unit from this guy. He sold at Antique Mall, sorry, on a flea market. Got that book in there. That one sold for like 14, 13 bucks, something like that. We'll end up probably having $600 worth of books and sales when it's all done. Wasn't the greatest deal. And then we had $150. Um, IQ test that hopefully will sell for between 100 and 150 bucks. So uh, it'll be okay, but definitely wasn't the best book buy I've ever had. This book set though is awesome. This is Through the Bible with Vernon J. McGee. Um, this is just three of the volumes. There's actually five in the set. There's multiple different variations of this. Like they don't all come in this this cover. So keep an eye out. You'll see on the screen though. This one sold for $95 shipped. Great deal for a book set. I will not ship this media mail. I'll end up upgrading shipping probably to FedEx Priority Mail whatever the flat rate, whatever the easiest, cheapest uh, next upgrade on the shipping would be. That way I know it gets there safely. There's no issue. I don't want to lose a $95 book sale because of uh, the media mail trouble. So we'll get that one packed up and out of here. But keep an eye out. They have different versions. I have two other sets of that as well. They haven't sold yet. They're not as nice as this one, but they should sell eventually, probably for 75 to 80 bucks. So definitely happy. And um, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you. Okay, guys, we're going to do a little tour of the house. A lot of people have been asking this. People seem like they're more excited about this in the garage, maybe. But to the left is actually um, the two bedrooms, um, two of the bedrooms. This is the new flooring we had, the laminate floor with the carpet for the bedroom. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, we did the cabinets got redone. They got repainted and everything. They look pretty cool. This is the master bedroom over here and a bathroom here. We won't go in to do that, but we'll look over here at the other stuff. Flooring all through the hallway into kind of the main living room over here. Little fireplace, uh, had the tiles put in there. 
Don't have any blinds up or anything, so we're still working on that. My wife bought some fancy outlet covers because she <laughs> wanted to. Uh, we redid the, all these cabinets. They had like a Formica counters and everything. This is Corian right here. Looks really nice. It's called like Moon Dust or something like that. Cabinets were redone. Sink still getting worked on. And all the way in flooring all the way through here. This is kind of like a breakfast nook dining area over there. And then we have another little room over here, a little bedroom. Um, so pretty cool. We did that, put like new fans in and stuff like that everywhere. Sorry for the focusing issue. So, and guys, that pretty much wraps up the tour. There's not much else to see. The bedroom, they just have the same carpet as this. You know, you can kind of see another fan up there. Um, they're all kind of the same. So there's a couple more things we're going to have done. Like I said, blinds and just small things. They're going to be fixed and worked on to get it ready. And then we'll start moving in. So Everything was painted, um, but a lot of money went into this place. A lot of money to get it fixed up. Um, needed a lot of work, but, um, you know, I wouldn't have been able to do it if it wasn't for eBay. So definitely super blessed, super thankful. Uh, you know, thank the Lord that all this even happened for my family and I. But, uh, again, this is something that you could probably do, too. If you put in the effort and work hard and, you know, make the right moves and learn and adapt, you might be in a position where maybe it's not a house, maybe it's a new car, maybe it's just paying for vacation, who knows, man, but you might be able to, you know, make some money on the side to help you get something that you want in one of your goals in life. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour and um, we'll see you in the next video.